Hello everyone, my name is Marcin and welcome in the first lesson of Photoshop Explained series. Before we start working in Photoshop, it's really good to familiarize ourselves with Photoshop Workspace and Photoshop Interface. So I decided it's really great to give you a few minutes of talk about Workspace in Photoshop before we really start our work. It's easy to notice that our workspace is on the both sides of Photoshop, on the left hand side and on the right hand side. On the left hand side, as you can notice, we have our tool panel. And there's two different views for this panel. I'm using a single column view, which is made better for people like me who use in a really small screen. My screen has only 13 inches, so it's better for me to use single column view so I can save some space for my work. Take a look, as you can see when I change this view for two columns, I lose some space for my work over here. So if you're using like me, small screen, it's better to use single column view. If you have big screen, you probably don't mind to use double column view and you can choose whatever is better for you. And on the right side of Photoshop, we have number of panels which are part of our workspace of course. As our panels might be a bit confusing for beginners, as you probably are, once you started and open Photoshop, you can look on the right side and probably it doesn't say anything to you. We have few options here which are really helpful um, to work with Photoshop, but straight after you start working with Photoshop, this part is not saying anything to you. And it might look a bit complicated. Of course, it's not complicated, but of course, I believe it looks a bit confusing. I remember when I started with Photoshop and I didn't have any idea what's going on about this right side. So let's start from easy part of our workspace, which is actually tools. As I told you about uh, different views, I'm going to use single column view. And as you can notice in our tool panel, we have all the tools that actually are in Photoshop. You don't have any other tools. All the tools you're going to use with your work are located here on the left side. But it seems like there is not too many of these tools. And of course, Photoshop extend every tool. For example, this elliptical mark tool, it's not only one selection tool, it's available here in Photoshop. Once you click right on this tool, you have few selection options, rectangular margi tool, elliptical margi tool, single row margi tool, single column margi tool. You can choose any and then this tool will be available as a first one. The same with every other tool, there's extension for every tool in Photoshop. Let's say you can choose brush and you have few different brush option, options. And every tool actually works like this, even the tool from typography, you have few different options. The thing you can notice here on the top, every time you choose different tool, we have different options of the tool. It depends which tool we're going to use. For example, when you were using brush tool, as you can see, we have few options for brush tool. We can choose size of the brush here. We can choose mode of this brush. We can choose opacity of this brush we want to work. As well, we can choose flow. Of course, this uh, panel on the top will change a bit as long as we change different tool. For example, when we choose mixer brush tool, it's the same area of the tools, but the panel of the top is totally different because mixer brush tool, tool actually let us mix our work, mix and uh, the color of our work. But about this, I will explain in other lesson. And as you can see on the top, there's totally different panel with different information. The same when you we choose selection tool, we can choose father and few different options. So all the tools are located on the left side and more options are on the top every time we choose specific tool. So after we finish with the simple part of Photoshop workspace, Let's talk about number of panels on our right side. So after we finished with the easy part with our tool panel, time to go to this number of panels on the right side. 
As I said before, it might look a bit confusing, but actually after I explain you this in few words, you will see it's not confusing at all and actually these panels are very helpful. The mod essential is the most basic and since I started I never changed to different panel than essentials, maybe because I've got used to and I think actually this one is the most comfortable to work with manipulation or retouch. Of course, the great thing about Photoshop, we can move our panels whatever we want. Let's um, move this panel from over here. We can move these panels over here as well. But of course, I don't like this view and I don't think you will like this view as well. Every time we want to bring back our panels to this main panel, as long as you drag this and see the blue highlight, it means we can bring back our panel. So let's bring it back. And the thing I have to say, it's not only one place you can move this channel, because uh, a panel, because actually these panels can be moved everywhere. As long as you can see blue highlights, for example, I can bring this uh, libraries over uh, above colors if I want, or on the bottom. About these work panels on the right side, you can notice that not only this column, this extend column exists, but you have a small collapsed column left to this big column. We can extend view of this column as well, but as you can see, we're losing a lot of workspace and it's not really necessary. This small column, this second column, I would say it's just as a some kind of helpful column. And we have few options over here like history and properties. Of course, about these panels over here, we can move them into this column as well, as long as we see this blue highlight. As long as you don't like this panel on this side, you can grab this and move this into your collapsed column and all the properties you have here. I don't like this view. I prefer a very basic view. So I'm going to bring this back to my essentials. You don't have to bring this back because every time you ruin your panels and you won't be happy with this view, you can just click essentials and reset essentials and straight away you have your basic view. And probably the options you're going to use really often are adjustments. As you can see, after you click adjustments, you have brightness, contrast, levels, curves, and many others. You can use these adjustments from this, clicking the small icon on the bottom, but for some of you, this panel might be much more comfortable to use. The great thing in Photoshop CC is we have multiple workspace to choose from. Of course, the most basics and for me, the most comfortable is essentials. But if you don't feel right with this pre-configured workspace, you can choose any other or even create your own workspace. For example, if you work with 3D objects, probably you will feel more comfortable using 3D, uh, 3D workspace. If you mostly work with motion, you choose motion. If you work with painting, if you paint something in Photoshop, probably you will feel the most comfortable with painting. You have all the colors here. You have brushes to choose. You have brushes to edit, to work with. If you work with photography, maybe the best workspace for you will be photography. So as you can see, you have many pre-configured workspace you can work with. Of course, for those of you who don't feel comfortable with any of this pre-configured workspace, you can create your own workspace. By clicking here into select workspace, you can choose option new workspace. Let's call this workspace my new one. Once you create this, this workspace won't be uh, different than essentials right now. But I can manipulate this workspace a little bit. Let's move this area here. I'm going to extend this view a little bit as well. And then after I click window, I can add some special uh, panels into my workspace. For example, clone. I have history. I don't have info. I can add some info. Maybe navigator. And as you can see, I extend this second column. Of course, I can add some thing here. For example, I can add clone here if I want. And actually, I created my new workspace right now. Of course, 
I don't feel, think this workspace would be comfortable for anyone, but it's just to show you how to create new workspace. I can change my workspace to photography now, and as long as I will go back to my new one workspace, I will have my pre-created workspace over here. So once we familiarized ourselves with Photoshop workspace, I believe in the future we can get much more pleasure from our work with Photoshop.